Well, welcome back to Applicad's uh, YouTube channel. Uh, today we wish to look at uh, the uh, new functions that we've created in the latest release called our Quick Roof Technology, and specifically the tool for capturing imagery from um, an external source such as an architect's PDF document. We open up the document in uh, Acrobat, we go to Tools, Snapshot Tool, and Capture the Area of Interest. And then we go back to our software. Uh, we go File New, Start a New Job, Construct Roof, Track Outline, beg your pardon, uh, Digitize Outline, and we use the Paste Clipboard Image function. So the image has been dropped straight into our workspace directly from the uh, Windows Clipboard, and we're now ready to start digitizing. So we OK, and carefully digitizing around the perimeter. If you need to get a little closer to the action, just use your scroll wheel on your mouse and uh, aligning your crosshairs as carefully as you can. Yeah, the big crosshair is a great help to aligning your points carefully. Um, then we uh, close square when we get to the penultimate corner and, uh, and then we are prompted for the the pitch of the roof, say 27.5, eve height, say 3200, and uh, the eve type, well, we'll have fascia and gutter. We hit OK, and then the software prompts for changes to the outline. In this case, we wish a vertical plane to be up here. That will make the gable end, and we hit Continue, and th the job is created. Now, we, we notice here that uh, the outline of the roof is, um, is exactly aligning with the image. The trouble is that the image is an indeterminate scale. So if we were to verify uh, the uh, the dimensions, we will see that that's come in at 8900, when in fact underneath the actual measurement is 12750. So if what we need to do is rescale the image to match the actual size on the uh, dimensions of the plan. And uh, we go back to digitizing, uh, then we select scale model, and this tool provides the ability to uh, adjust the scale of a job in X, Y, and Z. So we um, we want to lock the scales together so that we uh, are scaling all axes. And uh, the current dimension was 8900, and what we actually want was 12750. So when I click OK, what's going to happen is that the job is rescaled to the true size, and the um, we we now finish with our image. So we turn that off and we do a zoom fit. And, uh, and there's our job uh, ready to apply roof materials to. So um, at this stage, it looks about right. Uh, I'd typically from here go up to a job information, um, perhaps put in a quote number. Uh, we might put in a delivery address. Uh, we might then set the uh, installation date. And then we hit OK. And that information has been recorded if we save that away so we don't lose it. And uh, the next step would be to select a customer. So Mr. Allen, he'll, he'll get this job. Um, details about his business and uh, his discount rates are stored. We hit OK, and that will also be used when we prepare our report. So the next step is to check that the model is correct. Uh, the first thing we do is provide dimensions of the overall. Uh, we want dimensions up the slope, and notice that the dimensions are color-coded to the line type, and we know that we've got the correct dimensions on the correct lines, and we also check the roof pitch. So that job's almost done. If I now I turn the roof planes off, go back to our main menu, select our cover material. Uh, we're going to select a metal panel. We'll select this one. And uh, the cover width is 7.62, and it's a corrugated profile. Yes, that's good. Hit OK, and then we go back to our main menu and select our cut list options. We have various methods of calculating the uh, number of panels that go on the roof. Uh, the most usual method is to generate individual roof panels and, uh, and then tally those panels. The panels are then numbered, um, and, uh, and the length is uh, shown. And we end up with a, a cut list for every single panel. We also have a length of a total length of coil required for the job, and we have a waste factor. The waste factor is uh, arrived at because the little triangle that you'd cut off there and gets that typically gets thrown in the bin. Now that result is before we uh, uh, apply any 
uh, waste optimization. Uh, I'm going to skip that today. That's the subject of another uh, video on our YouTube channel. And uh, we're now ready to go to the next step. Go back to our main menu. The next step is to create a report for our customer. We select supply and install. And uh, the supply and install functions go through, count the labor and materials to complete this job. Um, we have the total summary of the roof cover, the, the trim, the accessories, uh, all the uh, labor to install those bits and pieces, and a final price. If we're happy with the final price, we then simply select the print button and uh, we then select a, re a template to print to. Uh, these templates are designed by you to suit your requirements. Uh, they can be designed in uh, Excel or Word or in our CAD program. Uh, you select the report you want and you hit OK. Uh, it then starts up Microsoft Word. Uh, that's the template I'm using. And then the software proceeds to complete the template in Word. It fills out all the details that the software knows about this job, including the, the, uh, the installer's details, or the customer's name, the price, his address and phone number and what have you. And then once that's all finished, it then uh, wants to save it away and then print. Now I'm not connected to your printer, so I don't need to print it, but you get the drift. So th that's the total process. So we minimize Word. Um, it can, uh, I can go back and edit any detail in the Word document, um, or I simply print it and send it to my customer as a completed uh, done deal. So that's the basic process. Very quick and very simple, just five or six minutes to do the average uh, metal roofing job from uh, an architect's PDF drawing. So that's about it. If you have any other questions, uh, please contact our service department and uh, get some help from one of our uh, technical support team and they'd be pleased to help you along the line. So that's it for this video. Uh, we look forward to speaking with you again on the next one. Uh, have a great day. We'll see you at the next video.